Uh, Ross right now is at a picture perfect place in the bay. Oh, look at him right now, Mr. Butterfly. Wow. <laughs> it's called hey, Umbrella Ross. Alley. <laughs> yeah, look at you, Ross. <laughs> Hey, ladies. Yes, I am in San Francisco at a spot that is fun for the whole family. It's called Umbrella Alley. And check this out. Lots of Instagrammable options to strike a pose in front of. And Brian joins us. This place is incredible. Can you describe Umbrella Alley for us? Yes, uh, we put this together during COVID, decided to bring a little joy to San Francisco and to people visiting San Francisco. So a lot of muralists have come and painted murals here. They're all interactive and just kind of created a fun environment. And I've been exploring all over. And what I love about all the little nooks and crannies is it feels very different. A lot of unique spaces, lots of diversity. How many artists and murals are here? Currently we have 10 murals and we are adding a new mural actually in the next couple of weeks with another 18 artists participating. So we're gonna have plenty of artists. And this is now your first barbecue in the events world, Brian. You've done some big things, You've worked with Oprah, big TV studios, tell us about that. Yeah, I was creating environments. I basically was a party planner for the television industry for many, many years. So I'm basically used to taking a very mediocre spot and kind of turning it into a, a little bit of magic and uh, just turning it into so it's a fun place. Right on, thank you so much, Brian. I'm gonna cruise over here and meet up with one of the uber talented mural artists in residence here. Hey, Maxfield. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. So you created one of the most iconic San Francisco murals. Tell us how you first got the idea to do this and the inspiration behind it. Well, thank you. I actually worked with Brian. We thought it'd be a great idea to be able to make a San Francisco style postcard, something that could really pay tribute to San Francisco and feature some of its really renowned iconography in a mural. So. In icon iconography indeed. I'm looking around and I see I see Chinatown, Alcatraz, the Golden Gate Bridge in super intricate detail. I mean, how long did something like this take you start to finish? Well, we worked really hard on the design. We wanted to make sure that we in, you know, encapsulated all of the different iconography in San Francisco. And so with a two to three week design process, it ultimately took about another two to three weeks to be able to paint the mural from start to finish. One of the cool things about Umbrella Alley is obviously you have your mural here, you've got the butterflies around the corner, but there's some other incredible art here. What's it like to be featured amongst these other incredible mural artists? Well, it's amazing. I mean, it's such a unique setting. I mean, you get that with a gallery sometimes, but it's very unique to kind of have this curated, almost sort of gallery with murals in it. So to be able to have my piece amongst so many great Bay Area artists, it's, it, it's amazing. There's thousands of tourists and locals alike who come cruising through here each day. I see the Maxfield Bala Instagram sign down there at the bottom. How often are people tagging you here? I mean, gosh, my phone is lighting up at least 10 times a day with different people taking photos in front of it. I mean, people that are getting married in front of it. I mean, there are people who are, you know, from all over the world taking photos of it. So, yeah, it's gotten very popular on social media. Your art is incredible. You're quite humble, but let's be real. You started at a young age. You started creating with your parents in their design company. Tell us a little bit about your beginnings. Gosh, yeah, I when I was born, I mean, I was sat next to my mom's drawing table as she started creating artwork. And so over the years, I got to work with my parents' design company, and that kind of just transpired into painting small murals and ultimately painting across the country in a bunch of different... Uh, applications and sites all over the uh, the country so it's it's worked out really well another unique thing here is that it's constantly changing and evolving right I mean the floor may not look the same way tomorrow there could be <laughs> new things on that corner what's it like for it to keep evolving in, in an artist space like this I mean I think it's integral I mean paint only lasts for so long so to be able to have a mural that changes and ultimately evolves is is what makes the alley so special it is super special indeed and you should come on down and check it out it is free to the public but they would love a $5 donation if you can swing it. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, Ross, that place looks like so much fun. However, I don't think I've ever seen you take a bad picture, like anywhere. Oh, gosh, you should have seen me this morning before coffee. <laughs> I'm the same way. Don't worry, Ross.